Hello, dear friends. Let's talk about problems of Fiat 500. The Fiat 500 has been manufactured since 2007. It comes in a hatchback variant and a three-door convertible. The Fiat 500 is available in four different premium levels – Naked, Pop, Lounge and Sport. Customers can also choose from 15 interior trims, 9 different wheel types, 19 stickers and 12 body colors. Interestingly, there are over 500 different combinations of Fiat 500 personalization that can be made by adding all kinds of accessories, stickers, interior and exterior colors and decorations. Initially, three types of engines were available to petrol 68 and 99 HP and diesel 94 and 90 uh, and the diesel 74 and 94 HP. Fuel consumption for the petrol engine ranges from 4.8 to 6.3 L uh, per 100 kilometers and for diesel from 3.9 to 4.2 liters per 100 kilometers is combined in combined driving. In terms of safety, the Fiat 500 has as many as 7 airbags in all its models. There are also electrical supplies such as ABS brakes, electronic stability, program ESP, anti-skid control, ASR hydraulic brake assist, HBA heel holder device, a system that prevents the car from going uphill when the engine is not in gear or the brake is not depressed, and remote locking and immobilizer. Its design is extremely nice. A small bonnet, a rounded roof line and a visually widening end. The good impression continues when you sit behind the wheel. The large round instrument panel resembles that of its predecessors and the center console with large switches is a breath of modern times. The quality of the materials bounces back from everything seen with Fiat, and it is worth nothing that there is no sign of a bad finish, or any sign of an Italian, uh, Italian slammer. It is ergonomically and functionally refined to the climax. Some space is lacking, but let's face it, the Fiat 500 has always been a small car. And this is not a major drawback. Anyone who deviates a little from the average human size will hardly even smell the inside of the car, of this car. Especially the rear seats, which are practically chi child friendly. The boot is small, only 500. Uh, 85 liters, but can be increased by folding the rear seats. Additional accessories for Fiat 500 include power steering, adjustable in high and depth, electric windows on the front door, high adjustment of the driver's seat, automatic air conditioning, hands-free blue and me system, uh, with Bluetooth technology, a leather wrapped steering wheel, cruise control, trip computer, glass panoramic roof, uh, roof and set of, uh, of chrome accessories. The level of equipment depends on the Fiat model. As we already said at the beginning of the article, naked, pop, lounge and sport. Fiat 500 problems and malfunctions. Sometimes there are electronics errors, radio built in PC dashboard, or error messages that are most commonly caused by oxidized contacts in the engine compartment. 
especially on the first models there were more frequent problems with blue and me mostly it helped to update new software or reset the system higher mileage is revealed by the worn bearings of the front shock absorbers as well as the excessive wear oil leakage of the silencer themselves occasionally there is a leakage of the gear of gearbox oil in addition to the semi-axle simmerings failure to solve the problem may result in dim in damage to the transmission itself due to the to a lack of oil occasionally there is a leak in the engine when the oil runs down the block the most common problem being the valve cover gasket. The car is well protected from corrosion except from for the exhaust pipe, especially for gasoline users, who drive more frequently on shorter routes. For petrol engines it is recommended to replace the spark plugs every 30,000 uh, 30, km. Otherwise, there is an increased risk of ignition coil failures. It works on fewer cylinders. There is a danger of driving shorter distances when the engine is not able to warm up properly. From time to time, engine warm-up and long longer engine operation are advised to burn spark plug deposits properly. T-Jet and Twin Air engines are more sensitive and harder to start. Gasoline engines sometimes have problems with the turbine, engine cooling and sometimes even the clutch. Twin Air motors may have a fault in the electro-hydraulic uh, electro intake valve control. It is manifested by increased noise, excessive vibrations, uneven operation, twitching of or possible transition to emergency mo mode. The solution is to replace the entire electro hydraulic block. The mechanism is particularly sensitive to the quality of the oil, which can be con to contaminated with un untreated fuel res residues when often driven with a cold engine. That is why it is important not to extend the oil change intervals and change the oil after 15,000 km per 1 years. If you drive around the city more often, there is a greater risk of excessively worn clutch, clutch bearing, valid for gasoline and diesel. Excessively worn injectors appear with the greater number of kilometers which results in uneven and noisy engine operation problematic starting or poorer engine performance during acceleration high pressure pumps leak more often on older 1.3 jtd euro 4. similarly with higher mileage there are problems with worn floating flywheel not applicable to 1.3 JTD 55 kilowatts, which are manifested by excessive vibration at idle twitching when starting the clutch or higher noise when accelerating from a lower speed. There are also problems with the turbocharger as well as excessive turbine wear, lower thrust, higher oil consumption, oil leakage into the intake and so on. Diesel engines are equipped with a soot particle filter DPF, which can uh, which has a service life of about 200 to 150 kil 1000 kilometers depending on how the vehicle is used. Sometimes the lifespan can be longer but sometimes shorter especially if shorter routes are crossed more often when the filter fails to regenerate and the regeneration is often interrupted. This leads to faster clogging and thus a shorter life of the DPF filter. 
problems are usually reported by the lights on the instrument panel and the engine switched to safe mode. Approaching the end clogging of the DPF filter, we usually have the increased frequency of regeneration along with a slight increase in fuel consumption. More frequent DPF regeneration also means increased oil contamination with unburned diesel fuel. This is especially true for the Euro 1 1.3 JTD DPF option in the case of Euro 5 engines. The regeneration system is better tuned. It is therefore recommended that the oil be changed after 15,000 km at the latest. Diesel engines, which use a long oil change interval 20,000 to 30,000 km, have significantly faster mechanical wear, lower compression, higher oil consumption as well as, ex uh, as excessive wear of the turbocharger bearings, also applicable to petrol engines. The timing mechanism is which, in which there is a risk of failure of the hydraulic tensioner and timing chain rupture. Long service intervals in danger, also the operation of the hydraulic regulation of the valve, which negatively affects the life of the valves themselves and the cylinder head. The Fiat 500 service. According to manufacturer, the engine of oil change interval is set at 20,000 to 30,000 km, but it is recommended to shorten the interval to 15,000 km or one year. This is mainly due to the sensitivity of the engine to oil quality. The engine oil level should be checked per periodically. The timing bells has 1.2, 1.4 fire and 1.4 T-jet petrol engines, with a replacement interval of 120,000 km or 5 years. 0 and 9 twin air and 1.3 JTD diesel engines have the so-called maintenance-free chain regular replacement of spark plugs for gasoline engines after 30,000 km should not be forgotten. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you are the owner of this car, then share your experience. It will help others to choose a car. Goodbye.